What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass Tone Tuesday. Today we're gonna talk about the importance of the mid-range and this is something that took me quite a bit to figure out and just to give you an example you've probably been at a show and you're watching a band play and you see the bass player you know laying down grooves or just shredding up and down the neck and you can't hear a single note you, you see his or her fingers moving around but you just don't hear any definition it's like like that all the time right and I've, I've been to plenty of concerts where that has happened and I think it's kind of a pity because you know you're they're, they're shredding there on stage and you can't hear a single note more often than not that happens because of the way the bass player is EQing things and of course front of house and the room have you know a role in that department as well but when I usually look at the amps or the pedals that they have there if I'm close enough you know you see that they've cut a lot of the mids is you know you have that smiley face EQ you know bass boost mid cut treble boost and you know when you're in your room or you're playing alone it sounds really cool you have a lot of bass a lot of punch some treble it gives you some more you know sparkle snap um, and the mid range which usually sounds like this is gone so you get a pretty pleasant tone the problem with that is that more often than not you get buried in a mix and that is when you know paying attention to the mid-range content is a very important thing of course there are a lot of things that are going to have an effect on the tone a lot of variables ranging from the type of music that you play how many instruments are in the band the type of instruments the bass that you have you know etc etc but one thing to keep in mind is that we as humans our ears are you know have evolved to hear the mid-range very precisely especially the human voice because that could have meant to save you you know from a tire because your body told you hey there's a tire over there and he whispered and you could hear him so we perceive the mid-range content very clearly and when you remove that you remove the presence out of something in the mix and to give you an example of the effect or the impact of the mid-range content of the bass in a whole mix I took the instrumental part of the demo I did of the GNL LB100 and now it's just guitars and drums and now I copied the bass one version has you know nothing applied to that it's just a clean bass tone then there's one which is a mid scooped and that is a 5 dB cut around 500 Hertz then I have a mid boost which is 5 dB at the same frequency then I have bass and treble boost and I think I have one more I just don't remember which one it is but we're gonna switch screens to my laptop so that we can get an idea of how that sounds like on top of that I tried to match the volumes as closely as I could and then did another version where I left all the faders at the exact same position so you can get an idea of how your perception of the bass changes when applying those boosts and cuts on the mid-range so now let's check out the samples okay guys so now we're gonna take a look at my screen and as you can see I have a couple of tracks here the one at the top that is the instrumental track let's take a look at it or take a listen to it right and that is just guitars and drums the bass I took it out and I put it here below and like I mentioned earlier I have a bass clean bass scooped mids boosted and then a bass treble boosted and let me show you the mixer here you can take a look I had to put the faders at different levels so that they matched the same kind of output and that already tells us a bit of how on, on about the difference in, in the way we perceive the bass um, in the bass clean is so minus three the bass mid scoop is minus one the bass mid boost is almost minus eight dB and the bass and treble one is almost minus ten so this one is definitely the loudest then the, bass, the mid boosted the mid scooped and then the bass clean uh, but 
Now let's listen to them on their own first. Let me loop a section. There's definitely a difference there, and you can see all of them are pretty much matching the same. This is probably a different section. Minus 13. This is even louder than this one. Minus 13. Minus 13. Now let's take a listen to the bases in the mix. So I'm gonna run the, the mix first. go with clean. there is a pretty considerable difference And from, from this you can definitely tell that even though this track, the bass with the mids boosted is quite a bit quieter, you know, it's and pulling back a dB almost, you can still hear the bass better than when you scoop out the mix. Let me just swap between the bass boosted and, no sorry, the, the mid scooped and mid boost. Until the beginning of the riff, this is da -da 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 -da. you know the bass kind of gets lost when you don't have those mids, and when you're boosting the bass and treble, you're also creating that kind of valley in the mid range because you're boosting both ends, and you're leaving the mids untouched. And let's go to the second test that I did. So now you can see here on the screen that all of the bass tracks have the faders at the exact same volume, so they are all at minus 3.2 dB and the instrumental track is at the same volume as before. And first we're going to take a listen to the individual tracks separately and then against the mix. So let's take a listen with the clean one. I'm sure you notice the difference now and you can also see here that where all the tracks reached the the peak. Now let's check out all the tracks against the backing track. I'm gonna punch in the clean one.
Now, you definitely could hear a difference, especially when you uh, switch between any of the tracks and the one with the mids scooped. I hope uh, this helps with your perception of the mids because they are, as you can see, a, a very important part on being heard in a mix. And of course, if I was to take this bass mid section or the, the track with the mids boosted, right? And I'm gonna pull back the volume. So now I'm even quieter than the other ones. But I can still hear it. <laughs> and you can of course then, you know, if I was to add the amount of bass here that the other one has, it was a 5 dB boost. Could hear how boosting and cutting mid-range changed your perception of the bass in the mix. And I'm probably gonna do more videos on this topic and with different genres and maybe more step-by-step -step process of how I would go about setting the mids. So if you're interested in that kind of videos, let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.